Hello, this is the fifth tutorial I'm making for the application PT computer, made by Smileboom. It's an application that lets you code in basic, it's for 3DS and DSi, most of you should already know this. In this episode, I'm doing something a little random, because I felt obligated to put something out, and there's something else I really want to show you that I'm working on, but I'm not, I'm not very good with it yet, so I can't put it in this video. I'm not going to tell you, because I don't want to, I'm mean like that. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to be doing system variables, well, some system variables, not all system variables. Some of the most, uh, no relevant ones. System variables are variables that are already defined by the system. For example, time. Time is a uh, variable known by the system, and if you did put in print time, it will show you the time. And it, uh, You need a dollar sign because there's colons in it, but whatever, right? I'm just going to show you the program. That I made to show you, to show you all of these. So I made a program, and it, if you want to see the rest of them, you can go to the little magical help thing. And uh, little uh, it's number sixteen, there's all system variables in it. I show, I'm I'm showing you most of them. So yeah, hold on. Program touch load. I'm just going to touch for no reason. All right, here it is. And yes, I'd start because it loops and clear the screen. Because if I don't clear the screen and it just loops like that, it's going to make it endless. You know, it's just going to print this over and over and over again at a ridiculous rate. So I need to clear the screen each time. Alright, so variable number one is touch status. What it means is it, it'll tell you whether the touch screen is being touch, touched or not. It'll either show you zero or one. A zero means false, one means true. And that's, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and just as a basic thing, one always means true when it comes to true, false. And zero always means false, and negative one means cancel. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, if I were to touch this when the program was running, this would be one. Yeah, all right. And then touch X is the X coordinate that's being touched on the touch screen. Touch Y is the Y coordinate being touched on the touch screen. So if I just, you know, rub this around, this would start having a seizure. It, it, obviously, yeah, it would change as I'm moving on the touch screen. Touch time is the duration I have been holding my stylus or whatever on the touch screen. So, you know, I hold it down. When I hold it, it'll, it'll start counting down in frames. When I release it, it'll st it'll just go right back to zero. Cursor X is the X coordinate of the cursor on the upper screen. Cursor Y is the coordinate of the Y cursor on the upper screen. In case, uh, I don't know, I I really don't see a use for this for me right now, but there's probably a lot of useful uses <laughs> that I don't, I'm not thinking about. So, free mem is the amount of memory free. Version is your version. <laughs> uh, and then main, CNTL, is the frame since the program has started. Function, no, is the function key that's been pressed. Free var or free variable is the amount of variables left you can create keyboard is the key code which because I'm you know each key on the little virtual touchscreen has a code you know there's a, there's a numeric value associated with each key when you press it this will tell you which one you've pressed and then t time obviously means time date means date and there's little dollar signs because there's colon and colons and time and slashes and date and it waits and it goes all the way up and shows you everything again. Well, it, yeah, that's how you make a, t a continuous clock. You have to have the white thing in, so it looks like it's continuing. It looks like it's going, you know, at a continuous rate, but it's really just freezing. It's changing 60 times a second, which makes sense. All right, so here we go. Touch status much as I touch the screen and make it one. Oh my God! And then look, the x coordinate, and y coordinate are changing. As I rub it around, and yeah, you can see you can see the touch time going up, and then the cursor is always going. And when I'm running this program, cursor is going to be X, and the X coordinate for the cursor is always going to is going to be zero, and the Y coordinate for the cursor is going to be five. And then the free memory is uh, ten twenty three. I am not sure what um, you know what the memory unit is. Uh, I'm not sure. I really don't know, um, you know, whether it's uh, in bytes or megabytes. 
because for in bytes, I'm pretty sure um, 1024 bytes is one megabyte, or 1024 megabytes is a gigabyte, but I don't know. I, I want to say um, that they're, oh no, ignore it, no, I'm wrong. Uh, 1024 bytes is a kilobyte. My bad, I think. Intent. All right, just for, forget. You can look this up on your own. <laughs> Whatever uh, unit that is. But um, and then there's the version a two two four. There's the frame since the program has started. And then the function key press. Since this is you know, it's changing so fast, sixty times a second, you will not be able to really see it. So watch, it's gonna flicker. See, it's just, it's flickering. Same with the key code. And then the time is changing. And so is the, the date's not gonna change instantly because it's, it's not midnight yet. But yeah, I'm going to stop this right now and actually just show you the uh, the you know chart for the key codes. So here's the key codes. One, this is um the values associated with the keyboard. Yep. All right, and that's it for uh, this little tutorial it's really nothing significant it's just it just it's just full of random stuff but i felt like i should put something out and i did yeah it, it's going to be in if if you're wondering when the next video is going to be it's going to be the same situation maybe in the next few days cuz i am very very busy but i'll still try and do these cuz this is by far the most popular thing i've ever done on youtube so yeah until next time good night